Right then, hello everybody, welcome to episode 4 of season 2 of the Brighton Crewman, and thank you guys so much for you guys' incredible support for the longest running video career mode series that I've done on the channel. Keep showing your support, drop in like and subscribe. We're going to begin here against Colchester, which I am actually going to play this game, so I want to use more of the other players, I want to see like how they will all do, but anyway, we've got a big game here against Colchester, I would love to win a trophy with this Brighton side. It's a game that oh, we should be winning on paper, but... You can never underestimate any team in the uh, cup. You know, we all know surprises and uh, shots can happen. Let's see how we do. Okay, we've got another chance here. Palestri using his pace. Palestri here, his first goal, maybe for Brighton. No, it's a great save from the goalkeeper. Really good, uh, really good strike from Palestri. Good save. Chance here for Colchester there. Play the ball across the right side. Chance here. Oh, no, they're coming forward here. Colchester, and they try to beat Sherpa, and he's near post, but it's a good save from the Dutch keeper. Here yeah, for uh, Colchester, they've got the board on the right side. They're going to try and turn and shoot, potentially. They find some space, wiggling the ball around. Turn and Sean straight at the goalkeeper. Chance here for us, Brunetto now driving forward. The Argentinian with the strike. It's a great finish from the Argentinian man, which I do want to give a lot more gain to. But Brunetto now um, has put us in front here against Colchester. 1-0 in the cup. Here, Palestri. He's a good run here of Encisio. Encisio now. The Paraguayan. Brunetto with Edu. It's a great save. Is he going to go in? No, that doesn't cross the line. That was close. Here just for the break. Ball whipped in. Headed away. Are we going to hit half time now? And yeah, we do. 1 0 Brighton is going to the break. Bonetto's goal. It's been a tight game, though, to be fair. You know, obviously, these are players that I don't really haven't used much this season. To be honest, not many. Uh, so it's been a little bit difficult to get things going in this game. Baliba. 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 2 0. Baliba, the African midfielder from Cameroon, I want to say. So Cameroon or Senegal always get them flags mixed up. But anyway, 2-0 Brighton in the cup. And yeah, very happy. Renato's now running forward to the ball. Into Cho with the strike. Good save, keeper. Yeah, Cho here for Brighton. Shot, great save. Corner kick whipped in. Adam Wharton. Estepinian header. And it squirmed its way in through the fingers of the goalkeeper. And Purvis Estepinian has made it 3-0 Brighton. Maybe a chance here. Adam Wharton's going to let one fly from distance. Straight in the gloves of the keeper. 3-0 full time. Uh, great way to start the episode of a 3-0 win. Against no disrespect to Colchester aside, which we should be comfortably beating, which we have. Um, we looked shaky the first couple of minutes, but apart from that, we really sat in the game and just took control. What a win. Uh, let's go. Big win. And we're through to the next round. Game here against Aston Villa, um, which hopefully should be an interesting game. They always sign Morata in career mode, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's take on Villa here. This team decided to go with, um, obviously, it's going to be a difficult game. Villa and career mode have a really good team. I'm excited, though, to see how things are going to go uh, for this episode in terms of our Premier League games. Hopefully, we could do as well as we did last episode. And, um, yeah, let's see how we do. So now we're going to try and get this effort in. Ball in. Dunk with the header. He has been so good for us in this series. And Yilmaz, he won the corner. It is 1-0 Brighton against Villa. Been a really nothing game so far. And with the first chance of the game, we take the lead. Ferguson tees it to find Zalzar. Zalzar now the Uruguay with the strike. And he's just wide. Left side. Great run here from the Turkish left back. Yilmaz draws the ball across. Good block. Maybe Martinez. Ferguson tries to tap it in. And it's a good last, uh, last ditch defending from Villa. Villa might be able to produce their first chance. The game here is Anilo. Ball on the inside. Morata trying to play it across. Block. Still forced to Watkins. Shot blocked. Can we get rid of it? No, we can't. And it finds its way in. Just couldn't clear efforts. And Villa's first chance of the game. They level it. Morata, then knocking the ball around there nicely, Villa. Still got it. And it's a shot from an ambitious effort. And Verbergen should have maybe catched that. And he's given a corner here to Villa. Diaby with the ball in. And easy there for the keeper. Chance him a Villa. Oh, it finds Watkins. 
Again, and Villa have turned the game in its head. That might not be Watkins, actually. No, I think it is. It might, it could, I thought it might have been Kamara, but no. It is Watkins. Villa turned the game in the head a little bit against the run of play. Uh, well, not necessarily against the run of play, but I think a little bit undeserved. Villa, 2-1 in front here, um, as we should be hitting half time soon, and we do. 2-1 Villa. Villa into Morata. Morata now on the ball. Still moving around nicely. Tees him on the edge of the box. Shot from Villa. Good block from Gross. Unal, it's three for Villa. And nothing more than they deserve. We've been awful so far in the start of this second half. Really bad. Really bad. I think Villa have won this one now. Wow, Villa hit the post. They, honestly, Villa have just been miles better than us. You have been absolutely shocking. For the next game against Leeds, there's going to be some big changes to the team. 3-1 Villa, full time. So we've got the next game here against Leeds United. Obviously, one of the newly promoted sides. The second one we're coming up against after beating Leicester this season. We have a 100% record against the newly promoted teams. We've decided to make a lot of changes to the team. A lot of changes. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get this game versus Leeds. I'm not going to underestimate them, though, because they are a solid side. They're in the Premier League for a reason. Let's take them on. Leeds United with a strike and force a good save there from the goalkeeper. Bring the ball forward. Palestri, it's our first real chance of the game here. Matoma in field. Chance here for us to make it 1 0. Matoma shot across goal and good save from Cardalo. Maybe just for the end of the first half. Esther Pinyan drills the ball across. Laid off one more. Matoma, good save from Darlo. Anyway, that is half time here between Leeds and Brighton. 0 0 as we go into the break. He got us a corner to Hood's over it. Whips the ball in. Jao Pedro! It's 1-0 Brighton. A great start in the second half. First half, we were, we were all right. We gel into the game. But Jao Pedro makes it 1-0 here. Brighton against Leeds. Let's go. Oh, won't have it from Palestri. Palestri now going to try and break here for Brighton. Palestri does really well. Might be an option here. I had to go for goal. There was nobody that was peeling got We had to play it across two. And unfortunately, good save there from Cardano. We win the ball here. Matoma. Matoma now doing really well. Matoma this time drills it across. And Jao Pedro has an easy tap in. 2 0 Brighton. And Jao Pedro with a brace. Let's go. Wow, Leeds to pull one back. 1 2. And it's Poveda just like that. Some really nice passing around the edge of the box. And they make it 1-2. Now Palestri down the right side. He's doing really well. The Uruguayan playing it across. Block for Chao Pedro. Volley again. On the rebound. And it's wide. Time referee. And he's blown it. It's a 2-1 victory for Brighton away at Ellen Road. Leeds United weren't bad by any stretch of the imagination. But I think our overall quality just... Was better, and I think we deserve the win. 2-1 uh, Brighton, full-time. Big three points. Derby game here against Crystal Palace at home. Wanky Chan, that's an interesting signing right there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but anyway, let's get in this game here against Crystal Palace. That's how we go with. Not really any change apart from Yilmaz comes in to replace Estepinian. Uh, but apart from that, same team. Uh, because I prefer Yilmaz over Estepinian. I know it's weird, and there's like such a rating gap between them, but... Yilmaz just plays better for me. I don't know what it is, you know, but um, yeah, anyway, here we go. Let's get in this game here against Crystal Palace. And yes, hopefully we could try and pick up um, another three points. Let's go. Chance here for us now. Palestri down the right side. Played so well against Lees. Plays a good ball in for the moment. Matoma. It's Matoma already 1 0 Brighton. Five minutes gone on the clock. Great ball from Balestri, but then again, Matoma, so good, man, so good. He's so good. I negotiated a new contract with him, and unfortunately, he's got a release clause on it and of 90 million, but he is scoring the goals for us. Great fish there, Matoma. Let's go. 1-0 Brighton. The Palace, knocking around the ball. Huang in field. Chance here for Palace. Good challenge there, Baku. Run here. Oh. 
Lestre finds Matoma. Matoma comes out with his steal. And it's 2 0 Brighton against our rivals. We get lucky there, but we do manage to make it 2 0. Matoma again. Let's go. We're we'll trying to get this ball across, maybe. We're doing our best to try and stop them. Chance in now. Huang down the left side. Challenge. We get rid of it. Half time. 2 0 Brighton. Yeah, very good performance so far. Go on, Matoma. Oh, Matoma. Oh, my days. Matoma. Oh, my days. Unbelievable. That would have been. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It. Palestri does really well to cut in. Plays it forward to who? Across Matoma into Adringa. Adringa with a strike. It's 3 0 Brighton. Crystal Palace have got nothing on us. 3 0 Brighton. Let's go. Adringa with the goal. That was a lovely fish as well. The left side gets taken down and we managed to get ourselves a free kick. Boy, I'm going to make a couple of changes because Matoma has picked up a little bit of a knock. So we're going to bring on Zalazar to bring uh, to replace him. We're going to bring on Gross to replace Dahoud. And we're going to bring on... Now, we'll leave it as that. So two changes there. Hopefully, it's going to be nothing serious to Matoma because he's been phenomenal. Speaking of an offense, has been phenomenal. Palestri has been on another level. He's going to whip the ball in and it's cleared away. Well, it haven't really threatened us, but here comes Abire Eze. It finds his man, Huang, with a strike, a block. Pedro Zalzar, straight at Johnston. A yeah, chance of a palace, maybe. Challenge Yilmaz, still managed to find his man. Chance of a palace, and they pull one back. Shame we couldn't manage to hold on for the clean sheet. Maybe a bit of hope for Palace, 3-1. And Hernandez with the goal. Let's go, three points for Brighton against Crystal Palace. Big result, come on. Before we end up the episode, we have received an offer from Inter Milan to go over to manage them. Um, <laughs> tempting. I would like to know your thoughts on the comments, whether you would be uh, interested in me going over to like, Inter Milan. But I'm going to reject it because I'm fully focused on our uh, position. I don't think there's a club out there which would tempt me more than uh, Brighton does at the moment. So obviously, we're going for our youth academy right now. I'll show you guys the league table. Um, as we do hopefully have Everton in the next episode, but we do sit 7th in the league at the moment. Don't worry, Matoma's injury is nothing serious. It's five days. Um, he might be able to play against against Everton, depends on his fitness. Um, and that's how towards the bottom of the league table looks. But anyway, a must thank you to everybody that has watched, uh, this series so far. Please do me a favour, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. But have a great day, everybody. See you all soon.